Good morning, my Taurians. Happy water sign day, but we are doing earth signs. I apologize, I did not get your readings yesterday. I had a car accident yesterday morning after I dropped my son off. Thankfully, he wasn't in the car. But you know, I think kids are on their cell phones and they're texting and she did 50 miles an hour right into the back of me. I was at a red light. So that's where I was at the hospital. So yeah, Taurus, we are um, gonna, I'm gonna do the earth signs today and then probably in the afternoon, I'm gonna do the water signs. So there'll be six videos. I apologize for slamming up your uh, timelines today. But let's uh, get started with the King of Pentacles. We have an Ace of Swords and we have a High Priestess Reverse. But before that, let me, um, the deck, the deck, the deck. The deck is, and I know a lot of you, if you watch tarot, you already are familiar with this deck. It is, where did I put the box? Oh, sorry. Sorry, Taurus. The Light Sears Tarot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the light series, yeah, the light series tarot, sorry. And then the Wheel of Fortune tarot for the clarifying deck. The links of, to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Alrighty. So Ace of Swords, High Priestess Reverse. High Priestess Reverse is a secret coming out. It definitely couldn't be that. With an Ace of Swords, it feels positive in a sense. Um, it, it definitely feels it, it feels positive. Ace of Swords is clarity. It's an idea. It's motivation. It's I know, aha, I know what to do. It's it's elevating your energy level. Some of you might feel a surge of energy coming. So this High Priestess Reverse, it is something coming to be revealed to you, but I also feel like it's you maybe not holding yourself back either from something or someone. So let's let's see what's going on here, Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Taurus. If you are a Taurus, know a Taurus, feel like being a Taurus. Well, Taurians, look at that. It's a new deck, so it is very slippery. Look at that, Temperance. Yeah, I feel like this Ace of Swords, High Priestess Reverse, it's leading to a very balanced situation in life. Um, Nine of Wands Reverse. It's just, to me, the Nine of Wands Reverse is the Eight of Wands Upright. It's, it's I feel like you guys are gonna have a surge of energy, honestly. Okay, Taurus, one more shuffle and we shall get going. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Okay, Taurus, um, what, not yet. What are the messages that need to come out today for the Taurians? What are the messages that need to come out today for the Taurians? What's the energy today? What's the energy today? It's beautiful, Northern Indiana, it's like gonna be 60 today and then snow tomorrow. It's crazy energy, crazy weather. All right, what is, ooh, Eight of Pentacles. Is this in the uh, work sector? Eight of Pentacles Virgo energy is, something's moving along, something you've been working at, something you've been, and this could even be your own, you've been working on yourselves. What's influencing the Eight of Pentacles? What's influencing the Eight of Pentacles? The world. The world, Taurus, the world. I feel like also the two of wands reverse, the three of pentacles and the 10 of wands reverse. Some of you are taking a new job, probably dropping a job, taking a new job. It could definitely be a relationship too. I'm getting work right now. I feel like some of you are about to get offered a new position, something with more money because you're going from the three to the eight, which leaves a five of pentacles. And five of pentacles can be a really tough energy. It could be a card of feeling really stuck monetarily wise. It could be feeling really out in the cold in your work, like where you're not getting validated, but something comes in, 201's reverse. I really feel like, especially if you're waiting on a decision, 201's reverse tells me a decision's gonna be made. And 101's reverse is lightening the burden up. 101's, so I do feel definitely more money here. What is the reason for the reading? What is the reason for the reading? Some of you, it's like a, you're leaving the whole company, going to a different, maybe you're waiting on hearing back. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading, Taurus? The, fi the five of pentacles reverse. I feel like some of you have been in this energy. It's been tough financially or emotionally in where you're at. And I do feel like you're leaving that behind because something better has come in. What's in the past? What's in the past for Taurus? What's in the past? I just don't feel like you got validated and um, appreciated where you were. And this new position is so happy to have you or, or person. What's in the past? 
Yep, nine of pentacles reverse. Completely drained. Again, financially, it could have been really tough. But I feel nine of pentacles reverse is just feeling like you gave it all and you got very little in return. And you really don't have the energy or the motivation to give your best anymore to the situation because you're not seeing the fruitful gains. What's on your mind, Virgo energy, once again? What is on Taurus's mind? What is on the Taurian's mind? Probably your card, since your card's the reason for the reading. It'd be great if it's a Hierophant. What's on Taurus's mind? What is on Taurus's mind? What is on the Taurian's mind? Am I gonna have to pull the card? It is the Magician Reverse, Virgo, Gemini, Energy. And it's probably tied to this Nine of Pentacles Reverse then. What is in the near future? So this feels like it's coming in with the Eight of Pentacles in the world then. What's in the near future? What's in the near future? You're waiting on hearing back from a job. It's looking good here, Taurus. Definitely, definitely money or more money coming in. What's in the near future for the Taurians? What's in the near future for the Taurians? What's in the near future for the Taurians? I feel like, you see that magician reverse can be a card of manipulation. It could also be a card of feeling powerless to get yourself out of a very stuck situation. Icky situation. What's in the near future? The Ace of Wands. Oh, look at that, Taurus. Look at that. The Ace of Wands. Remember, you had an Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there was that communication. Ace of Wands is the new beginning. The world is a new beginning. Eight of Pentacles is the beginning of something better. So again, if you're in, if you're not working or you are working, but you feel like you just can't get ahead, you know, you got to rob Peter to pay Paul kind of energy. You already, you know, especially if this is a financial read for some of you guys, and it's just been really, really stuck. Uh, sticky with that five of pentacles and you know it's just you're tired of being stressed over money and you're feeling like you're not the magician reverse can honestly be um not fulfilling up not you're not you don't feel like you're living up to your full potential you're not in this job not in a relationship and so I honestly feel like you you put with that ace of swords you put something out in the universe you apply for something else you start communicating with someone else. Ace of Wands is telling me this is the moment where it changes. Communication's great, but this is where you hear the yes, because Aces upright are yes. So I feel like this is somebody, Ace of Swords could have been you saying, hey, I want this. The Ace of Wands is saying, hey, we want you too. So, and I feel like you have a lot of, this is so much better energy. The Four of Swords is not feeling so stressed anymore. You can take a break, maybe, have the money to say you can finally save up the money to take a, a much earned vacation and the knight of wands that's why i feel like with the knight of wands is travel it's passion it's excitement after a lot of difficult energy okay what is this eight of pentacles influenced by the world for the taurians eight of pentacles influenced by the world it definitely feels like a, a new job or a new position here eight of pentacles influenced by the world and the world feels so free. It's like you could finally breathe again here. Eight of Pentacles influenced by the world. Eight of Pentacles influenced by the world. Page of Pentacles reverse. Why the Page of Pentacles reverse? Why the Page of Pentacles reverse? And the Six of Swords. So it feels like there's a position opening up. Page of Pentacles reverse. There's two things you could do where what if this is a relationship for you or a job for you and you have given it all with that nine with the page. I feel like that is that is the last no you're going to hear. Somebody is just being very resistant to making your life better. And Six of Swords is saying, you know what, I'm moving on from this nine of Pentacles reverse energy. I'm powerless to change to make this better for me. So the only way I can make it better for me is probably move on from this. And the Ace of Wands here in the near future is exactly what you do. All right, Five of Pentacles reverse. Taurus energy, reason for the reading. What's the Five of Pentacles? That's Stella got the groove back card. It is, you got your groove back. You're finally, it's like being included. It's being in, 
accepted, feel, not feeling out in the cold anymore. What's the Five of Pentacles reverse and the Seven of Pentacles? There's your energy. There's your energy. And there's the Ace of Wands. I was going to say what we're missing is in the Ten of Pentacles. I'm thinking we're missing the Six and it might still come out. There's an offer, but I feel like that's kind of hanging over this reading. Is an offer. Ace of Wands again. Ten of, that's leading to a Ten of Pentacles. I don't think, you know what the thing is, Taurus? I don't think you planned to have a Ten. You just wanted to get out of a Five. You, you would have settled for the Seven. And the Eight is just you doing your own thing. So I feel like some of you might apply for a position and get something even better than what you applied for. Might get a promotion, but the Ten is making you finally be able to breathe again. You're not so much worried about it's like you are in a better environment. You have somebody who wants you to be around, somebody who appreciates you. And you're doing, it's like you, now you can fully use your, it feels like magician energy, it flips it. It makes you even wanna work harder because you can actually get paid for what it is you're doing. What is the Nine of Pentacles reverse in the past? Virgo energy, what's the Nine of Pentacles reverse in the past? And the Eight of Pentacles that's just it. if this is work eight of pentacles has been a long time working at something feeling like you were going to get you know you were going to get it's interesting feeling like you were going to get something from it but then what you got was a page of pentacles reverse you take a nine minus an eight you get, it leads you a one and i feel like this person decided to go a different direction if this is a relationship maybe they decided to not leave an ex or go back to an ex and it really opens you up to moving on. And when you move on is exactly, that is where your 10 lies, not with this situation. This only took and took and took and took from you. Oops, okay. All right, what is the magician reverse on your mind, Virgo Gemini energy? I feel like you feel manipulated to have stayed so long. What's the magician reverse on your mind? Magician reverse on your mind. Yep, judgment reverse. So long. Judgment, two majors. It's I, Some of you are mad at yourselves for staying so long. Some of you are mad at yourselves for not standing up for yourself. But there is a change here. Judgment reverse, magician reverse, and the hierophant reverse. I, I felt the hierophant coming. And I didn't I say it's going to be up there? There it is. And this is you leaving that behind. You're finally leaving an old, tired cycle out. An end to an era, Taurus, an end to a very hard era in your life. What is the Ace of Wands in the near future? What is the Ace of Wands in the near future for the Taurians? What is the Ace of Wands in the near future for the Taurians? Strength. High Priestess reverse once again. The Moon reverse, the Hermit. Look at all these majors. The Death card, the Ace of Swords. Two of Wands reverse. This is what actually fell out. So the Hermit is you. I really feel like this is you looking out to the horizon. You want your sun. You want to get out of the moon. But look, you are the moon reverse, which is the sun upright. So I feel like you're leaving those dark days behind you. You have something, you're at the precipice of this huge change. That's actually, I don't, the thing is, is again, I don't feel like you guys even know that you are so close to a Ten of Pentacles by leaving this behind. Something you held on for a long time dealing with a very stubborn energy. And Seven of Cups reverses, you got clear that this energy was never gonna give you what you wanted and you seeking something else is where your fortune lies. Two of Wands reverses making a permanent decision to grab an Ace of Wands. The Death card is where your transformation happens. Ace of Swords is the Yes card out of all the Tarot cards. The Ace of Swords is the Yes card. And the Three of Pentacles reverse is, I feel like it's letting what you've held on to so long go and that leads to an Ace of Pentacles. A Four upright minus a Three equals an Ace. I'm telling you, life's getting better. Some of you just held on so so long to something, but don't also on your mind, don't beat yourself up for it because you're not Miss Cleo over there. You can't predict. So I mean, it's being a very fixed energy 
you guys are very loyal and you really feel like if you just hang in there a little bit longer, it's going to go your way. But it doesn't go your way. And finally, I feel like whatever this Page of Pentacles reverses, somebody rejects you one more time or says no, or they decide to not go with you and they're with someone else. And that really gives you the freedom you really need. I mean, look at this hermit card. He's looking in the near future, he's looking out at that mountaintop where the sun lies. And this is you making it there with the world. I feel like you're finally able to breathe again. I feel like you're gonna have more money again. You're, that This is where the energy is. It's not in the past, it's way over here. So, all right, my dears, have a fantastic rest of your week and I love you guys. Take care.